Hello there and uh, welcome to another video in this notifications in Android tutorial series. So in this video I'm going to show you how to display a progress bar within your notification. So before we start let me just uh, show you how will this actually work. So let's click this uh, progress uh, button and immediately after that the actual progress bar here uh, will start. So after we reach the 10 out of 10 uh, then this notification uh, will change and we are going to see here a completed message. Okay, and now we can of course uh, close this notification, uh, but while this uh, progress bar is running, uh, then we will not be able to close this notification, okay? Because that's the logic which uh, I have implemented for this purpose. There we go, and now we can. So uh, be sure to watch this uh, whole video if you want to learn uh, more about it. Okay, so now that you have seen how our notification uh, will look like, uh, let's get uh, straight into the code. So this is the actual project that we have used uh, in the previous videos in this uh, series. The link of this project uh, will be down in the video description, so no worries there. Uh, anyhow, uh, first we need to open up this notification module and uh, we need to create a new notification channel. So with our progress notification, uh, we don't want to uh, make a notification sound on uh, each and every iteration of our progress bar. And that's why we need to specify an importance level on our notification to be important slow. So we already have this uh, first uh, main uh, notification channel and now we need to create a new one. So here I'm going to just uh, create a new variable, for example channel number 2. And here I'm going to name this uh, ID to say a second channel ID and the name can be a second channel. So next the importance level here uh, will be important slow. Because whenever we uh, use our progress bar, we don't want to make a notification sound whenever our progress bar is moving. And that's why we need to specify here this importance uh, low level. Now the next thing let's just call here notification manager and let's create a new notification channel. So channel number 2. Okay, that will be all for our uh, notification manager compet uh, function within our module. And uh, now we need to handle this uh, first uh, function, which basically provides a notification compet builder. So now if we scroll down below, uh, then you will see that our notification compet builder uh, actually contains a channel ID of our first notification channel. However, uh, now we need to construct basically a new instance of this notification compet builder, because in our case now, we want to specify here a different notification channel and also a different priority as well. Because we are no longer using an importance level default and now we are using an importance level of a low. And that's why here I'm going to create a new function and describe how to provide an instance of the second notification compat builder. So down below I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to name this function uh, provide a, a second notification builder. Here I'm going to just uh, add uh, one parameter and as a return type I'm going to add here notification compet dot builder. Let's also annotate this uh, function with a provides and a singleton annotation. And here I'm going to just return a notification compet dot builder. Let's first specify here the context as a parameter as a first parameter and as a second one I'm going to pass here the same name as the second uh, channel ID that we have just created. So second channel ID, there we go, just paste this uh, string. And then down below I'm going to specify a couple of different uh, properties as well. So a small icon for example, so let's just specify here the same icon as before. So notification, this one. After that I'm going to specify here the priorities. So in this case we're using a different priority than before. So let's call here notification uh, compet dot uh, priority low this time because uh, we don't want to make a notification sound whenever we trigger our uh, actual uh, progress bar notification. And uh, down below I'm going to also specify the last property or the function uh, with the name of a set ongoing. So here I'm going to pass a true and it will mean that uh, while our progress bar uh, is actually loading, uh, then we will not be able to uh, remove this notification by ourselves. Instead, we will be able to remove our notification only within the code. So that's everything we need to write here in order to uh, create our second uh, instance of the notification combat builder. 
So this uh, second instance will return a uh, notification component builder with the second notification channel that we have just created. And of course with a new priority as well. Now there is uh, one more trick here uh, which we need to handle. So uh, at the moment uh, the dagger hilt library does not know which one of those uh, notification component builder instance we are going to use within our code. So now we need a way to basically distinguish uh, those two instances. So this one and this one right here. And uh, in order to do that uh, I'm going to create uh, two different annotation classes which are part of a dagger hilt library. So for that, I uh, suggest you to just go and uh, check out the official documentation for uh, a Dagger Hilt library, especially this uh, section with the name of uh, provide uh, multiple bindings for the same type. Okay, and down below I'm going to create uh, two different annotations. So the first one uh, will be named uh, a main channel notification builder or uh, main notification uh, compat builder. And we need to annotate this uh, annotation class with uh, a qualifier uh, annotation and also with uh, one more annotation named retention. And here just specify annotation uh, retention dot binary. There we go. And the second annotation class uh, will be named a second notification compat builder. There we go. And now let's just uh, add those uh, two annotations on the, those two functions. So this function will have a uh, notification uh, uh, second notification component builder and this uh, first one uh, will have a main notification component builder annotation and now with those annotations uh, we will be able to distinguish uh, those two different uh, instances of the same type okay and with that we have completed uh, our notification module so now we have a uh, everything we need to actually start uh, working on our progress bar notification. And now uh, after that, uh, I'm going to open up our main view model. And here we're going to create the function to actually trigger our uh, progress bar notification. So here I'm going to create a new function uh, with the name of a show uh, progress. And uh, here before I uh, paste uh, and explain the code, I'm going to here uh, inject uh, one more notification builder. So uh, now I'm going to name this notification builder number two. And also uh, we need to add here uh, two different annotations. So this uh, first uh, notification builder uh, needs to have this uh, main notification component builder annotation. And this uh, second one uh, will have a, a second notification component builder annotation. Okay. And now that we have uh, two different uh, notification component builders, and uh, now we can proceed and uh, actually create this uh, show progress function. Let me just here paste some code and then I'm going to explain. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, I have uh, created uh, two different variables. Uh, one uh, immutable variable, the first uh, immutable variable with a default value of number 10, and the second a mutable variable with a default value of 0. So basically this uh, second variable uh, will be incremented by 1 after each and every second. So here I have created one uh, while loop where I have said uh, if the progress or while the progress uh, is not uh, actually number 10, uh, then I want to here add a delay of uh, one second and increase this uh, progress by one afterwards, which means that uh, after each and every second, we will be able to increase this uh, progress by one. And after we uh, increase this progress uh, up to number 10, uh, then this uh, while loop uh, will close. And after this while loop is closed, uh, then we are going to display here a notification which will say completed. Now, uh, there are a couple of different things here which uh, you need to uh, be aware of. So in this function, we are using, of course, the same notification manager to, to notify our notification at uh, two different times. So in this uh, while loop, uh, we are using this notification builder number two, which basically represents our notification for a second notification channel. And here I'm specifying the title that will say a downloading and the actual content here uh, will basically say, for example, 0 slash 10, then a 1 slash 10, 2 slash 10, and so on. So after we increase this progress value uh, after each and every second, then this uh, value will uh, automatically update itself. So you will see about that. And then here we are also calling one uh, function named the set progress. And this function uh, will allow us to basically uh, display the progress bar within our notification. 
So uh, this function accepts uh, multiple parameters, from which the first one is the maximum value of this progress, and the second value is the actual progress. So after this uh, while loop uh, breaks, uh, then we are going to finally call this uh, second notify function and this uh, second notify function will use this uh, first notification uh, builder because whenever we display this completed uh, a message within our notification we actually want to hear the notification sound okay so while we are increasing this uh, progress bar in our notification we don't want to hear a uh, notification sound after each and every second and that's why we are using this uh, notification builder number 2, which actually contains an importance level of low, while this uh, second or actually first main notification combat builder contains an importance level of default, which will be able to display a notification sound. However, uh, there are also here uh, two different functions uh, which I have called in order to remove or actually clear the, the content intent, which means that uh, I'm going to remove basically the functionality to be able to click uh, our uh, notification. And also I am removing uh, all action buttons from this notification builder as well. Because as you can see, our first or a main notification uh, uh, compat builder actually contains uh, one action button. But with this uh, function clear actions, uh, that notification button uh, will disappear. Alright, so uh, now the last thing, let me just here in our main screen create a new button. So just uh, copy and paste here uh, one button down below and this is a spacer as well, there we go. Let's name this a button uh, progress. And I'm going to call here a show progress function. So now let's uh, run this uh, application once again and let's see how will this uh, actually work. Okay, so let's uh, click this uh, progress button. And as soon as I click that, then here a new notification will appear with that uh, same progress bar, only this time we are not hearing a notification sound after this uh, or, or while this uh, progress bar is actually running. So the notification sound will be triggered only when this uh, final completed message appears, because this uh, completed message has been shown with our main notification combat builder. Okay. And of course now we can remove this notification, but if we actually trigger this notification and this progress bar is running, uh, then we will not be able to remove this notification, okay? Because in this uh, second notification compat builder, uh, we have specified this uh, function uh, that says uh, ongoing to true, which means that we will not be able to close this notification while our progress bar is actually running. So only after we see this completed message, only then we will be able to remove this notification because in that case we are using this a first or a main notification compat builder. Alright, so now I hope that you have understand how this uh, functionality is actually working. So if you have any questions about uh, the progress bar inside a notification, feel free to comment down below and uh, I will gladly answer to all your questions. And also, uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.